After months of getting beaten down like a rabid dog, Zometica's stock finally seems like it's about to take off. In fact, it's up about 30% over the last trading week. So what's going on? Is this just a coincidence or will we see more growth? Well, that's what I'm gonna cover in this video. So let's get into it. What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, make sure you click on the subscribe button and that bell icon to get notified whenever I release a new video. All right, so on to Zometica and it's a good time to talk because we have an earnings announcement coming up on August 10th next week where we're gonna hear more about how some of their initiatives have been going. But if it wasn't earnings causing this pump, what exactly has been going on? Now, if you watch my Zometica video from six weeks ago, I gave you an update on the company's latest news events. But a few things have happened since that I think that we should cover. The first was their announcement in July about their new global manufacturing and distribution center. And to be honest, this is nothing surprising because we've already seen the need for extra capacity for production and distribution. We have added Revo and Vet Guardian products to the mix to extend further beyond just Truforma and PulseFed associated sales. By doing this, they're better able to fulfill customer demand in a timely manner while at the same time support its future growth. And secondly, Zometica has acquired the assets of leading targeted pulse electromagnetic field company, Assisi Animal Health. This is a company that has an innovative line of targeted devices for companion animals as a way of treating such things as pain, inflammation, anxiety, or behavioral disorders. These devices are backed by clinical studies and the tech could help pets live fuller, pain-free lives and really elevate veterinary care. Larry Heaton believes that the the products fit nicely into their growing therapeutic segment and I for one wholeheartedly agree with him. I love to see these sort of acquisitions as Zometica has fully moved from being solely reliant on Truforma to almost being like Truforma who. Keep those acquisitions coming and let's build out the full Zometica offering. Now the market as a whole has started to heal somewhat as investors seem to believe most of the pain has already been priced in. So we're seeing a sort of U-shaped recovery in most stocks over the last few weeks. Now this doesn't mean that we're out of the woods just yet, but maybe we have another small before we start moving upwards. Now, I think we truly have seen the floor for Zometica at 18 cents. Remember, I've been telling you from the get-go that every reaction in the market is an overreaction and we saw so much selling off and so much red. And just like when Zometica was sitting at over two bucks a share before it even launched Truforma, it was an overreaction, but no one complained because it was in their favor. Zometica is in so much better of a spot today because of the acquisitions that have taken place, the cash they locked up with the share offerings, and the runway time they've given Truforma. This is why I've been buying into Zometica shares and flipping them. And in fact, I sold a couple thousand last week just because I got these shares at a super discount in the low 20 cent range. That's like a 50% gain from those flips. And I'm still holding my long-term shares in the company because I really want a big payout. When their earnings come out, I'm not as concerned about their earnings or Truforma numbers as I am about their cash on hand. With the acquisitions and especially this new manufacturing and distribution center, I'm worried that they may have used up most of these cash reserves and that could potentially lead us to a share dilution if we start to see the stock rise fast enough. It's just something to watch out for because we know they aren't shy about doing that. If you take anything away from this video is that we are finally starting to see the moves in the right direction and it's not coincidental and I don't think we are anywhere near the top for Zometica. We may have a few more red days along with the rest of the market, but I think that Zometica is primed to conquer in 2022 and beyond as they've pretty much righted the ship. But I'm not a fortune teller or a financial advisor, so make sure you do whatever is best for you. When their earnings come out, you better believe I'll have a summary and analysis video for you on that. But if you want to chat about all things Zometica or other companies, make sure you check out our free public discord. Now, is there anything that you want to hear from me about regarding Zometica? Post that in the comments below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.